In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Advanced Bahn. So by default in Minecraft, if you need to punish a player, you got two options. Either kicking or banning. Now Advanced Bahn adds a lot more options to this list. Like warning, muting, tem banning, IP banning, and a lot more. So in this video, I will show you how to set it up and how it all works. So before we start, do make sure to leave a like. Also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're trying to hit the 30k subscribers now which will be the next big milestone here on the channel so subscribing would actually help out a lot and then with it any further ado let's dive right into this Now before I'm going to show you how to very efficiently punish players on your Minecraft server, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Phoenix Plugins. They are great developers who have made some amazing plugins like Phoenix Crates and Phoenix Lobby, as well as some awesome looking model packs. Do for sure check them out through the link down below and use code KASAISORA for a 15% off your order. Now with all that out of the way, it is time to punish some hackers. So the first step will be clicking on the link in the description that will take you to the advanced band spigot mz page the plugin is 100 free so you just can click on download now wait for a little bit and there you go after that you want to go to your minecraft server folder here you want to look for the plugins folder make sure to open it and then drag advanced band inside just like that now if you're hosting your minecraft server at alienhost this step will be even more easy on the left side of your panel you will see a button called plugins when you click on there you can simply search for the plugin you want in our case it will be a Fence bond. And now you can simply click on install and there you go. You're done. The plugin is successfully added to your Minecraft server. After installing the plugin, it's a matter of restarting your Minecraft server and then you will be ready to go. And my great friend Brad Shop, uh, aka my second Minecraft account, is gonna help me show off this plugin. So let me show you what type of punishments Advanced Bond actually adds to your server. And just for the fun of it, I'm going over the punishments from least to most severe. So let's start with the least severe punishment. A warning. A player is doing something on the server that he he shouldn't. Red shop is breaking the rules. But it's something simple. It's not really severe, so you just want to warn them. What we can then do is type slash warn. After that, you need to choose if you want this warn to be public or private. So when we type minus s, this warn will actually be silenced, meaning that only me the person who warns, and Bradshop, the person who gets warned, will know that this warrant has ever happened. For the rest, it will not be announced around the server. When you remove the minus S, everyone on the whole server will be notified that Bradshop has been warned. So I'm just gonna type slash warn, then Bradshop, and after that I have the choice between an example layout, example layout 2, or just give a reason. Now the example layouts are basically predetermined reasons. You can change what they say in the config, which I will show you later in the video but let's say for example you warn a lot of players for being toxic then you can let this first example layout say something like you've been warned for being toxic make sure to change your behavior or a mute or ban will follow in my case i'm just gonna type a reason myself so i'm gonna let it say don't be toxic you will get banned then i'm gonna press enter and there you go red shop got warned by kasasora this message here will be public so anyone on the server will will be able to see this. Now this was a permanent warrant, meaning that Bradshop is now warned forever. Though maybe he shows good behavior in the future, then you are able to remove the warrant. So by typing slash unwarn clear and after that Bradshop, Bradshop will officially be unwarned. Now Bradshop is being annoying again, but not as annoying as he was before. So I want to temporarily warn him. The way you do that is type slash temp warn after that you can choose for silence again after that bread shop and then you can once again if you want set an example layout in the config but in my case i'm gonna do 1d which will be one day after the day is passed the warning will be removed now you can of course also give a reason so the reason will be don't do that please perfect press enter and there you go bread shop was successfully warned now you don't see any public message like last time that's because we put the minus as there. Now you can also look up the reason somebody has been warned. So let's say you have a big team on your server with a lot of moderators and admins, then somebody might be warned when you're offline. And when you go online and they ask to be 
and warrants, you can check what they were actually warrant for. So when you type slash warrants, and after that, the name of the player, in my case, Bradshop, then here you will see the warning. So these are the warnings for Bradshop, and you can see he has one active warning, which is this one I just gave. Don't do that, please. By Casasora, and it remains for another 24 hours. Now that warning hasn't helped, it is time for muting. Bradshop, we're gonna mute you. So by typing slash mute, and after that, Bradshop username, then just give a reason. My reason is gonna be one, two, three. Bam, Bradshop has been muted. Then we can, of course, unmute Bradshop through this command. There you go. Now we can also temp mute Bradshop. So let's say we just want to mute him for one minute. And that is also something you can do. This player got muted for 60 seconds. Now you can also use the command slash check Bradshop to see all the mutes, warrants and bans they've received. Now I'm not going to do that right now as it will in fact reveal my IP address, which is something I don't want. But it's a great way to keep track of certain players. Now of course banning is nothing new. You can also ban in default Minecraft. But advanced ban does make it a lot more professional. So when we type slash ban, after that bread shop, and then the reason will be lol, we will ban bread shop forever. Now this is what a ban screen looks like. So it will say you lost connection, after that advanced ban, permanently banned, the reason is lol, and beneath that you can even leave a link to a form, or a discord for example, where players can ask to be unbanned. So if that is something that you want, you can add those links through the config. Now what advanced ban also adds, is the ability to temporarily ban a player. So when I type slash temp ban, after that, bread shop. And then, for example, two days. And then the reason will be get out of here. <laughs> yes. And this is what that will look like. Connection lost, temporarily banned. The reason is get out of here. And the duration is two days, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. Now, when we try to log into the server again, you can see that the time has been updated. So this way, players can keep track on when they're allowed on the server again. Now, advanced ban also adds the slash ban IP command, which allows you to, in one go, ban a whole IP address from joining your Minecraft server. Now, you might be like, Kassasura, why do you want that? Well, let's say you have one player on your server that keeps on hacking. Eventually, they receive a permanent ban, but you absolutely don't want them to join with a second account, then you can ban their whole IP address. So not only their main account is banned, but all other accounts that they try to use to log into your server are also banned. So you don't have to worry about that player joining ever again. Now in practice, I got to say, this does not always work. If you actually want to IP ban a player, I would recommend first banning the player itself. So just slash ban player name, so that in any case, that player can never join again. And after banning their main account, ban their IP on top of that. That way, even if they change their IP somehow, their main account will not be able to join. Their second account then will be, but they will probably just continue you on hacking so you can just ban them the next time. Anyhow, IP banning is there and it's a great feature. Now, another very handy command can be the change reason command. So when I do slash ban, red shop, and after that, lol. There you go, he's gone. Now I didn't have the time to specify exactly what bread shop did wrong, so I want to change the reason afterwards. Or maybe you misspelled something, it can also be the case. Then what you can do is just type slash change reason, then we're gonna change a bond reason, we're talking about a bread shop, and the new reason will be goodbye. <laughs> Just like that. Then we press enter and there you go. Punishment 6 has been successfully updated. Punishment 6 referring to the ban of Bradshaw. Now what's also really cool is that you can actually see someone's punish history. So when we type slash history, then the name of the player, and then we press enter, you can see his whole punishment history. So you can see he first got a permanent warn, after that he got a temp warn, then a mute, a temp mute, and then a ban. So that is really, really cool. And it's a very useful tool, especially in a big moderation team, so that when someone is breaking the rules, you can actually check if they've been punished for the same thing before. And if something has happened like five or six times, it might be time for a permanent ban. Alright, so the last thing I want to do is take a quick look at the config. So inside of your Minecraft server folder, simply go to plugins. After that, go to the advanced ban folder. And over here, we're going to open config.yml. In here, all the way at the top, you can connect advanced ban to a MySQL server if that is something you want to do. 
do. Then here we got detailed messages. So if you set this to fault, you will get short and not so detailed messages in the console. Otherwise, you will get quite some information. More detailed information, anyway. Then by scrolling a bit further down, you will see the mute commands. So these are commands players will not have access to when they are muted. So of course, when you mute someone in chat, you don't want them to be able to whisper or send a private message to anyone. Well, Advanced Ban will actually block those commands, which is great. Then here you got exempt players. So these players will not be able to get punished in any way. So maybe put your own username and the username of your admins in here. So the moderators or helpers will not be able to ban them. Then here you got all sorts of format settings, UUID fetcher if you want to change that, the warn actions. They're just overall some general settings if you want to change them. But I think overall most things should be fine by default. The only thing you might want to change is this part over here. Then when going back to the advanced ban folder, this time we're going to open the layouts.yml. So here you can see example layout and example layout 2. So this is the message that players will see as soon as they're banned. So in this case, example layout 1 is banned for hacking. They are banned by percent operator percent, which will be replaced with the username of the player who actually dealt the punishment. And then here it says, it seems like you're using a hacked client. Please disable it. Now this part, of course, you can completely customize. If you don't want the player to know who banned them, for example, you can remove this part. Then they will have no clue. This is also the place where you can put in a link that will take you to a forum or a discord where players can apply to get unbanned. And if you don't want them to get unbanned, just remove this whole section. Now you can, of course, make more layouts like this. So just copy this whole part. After that, paste it under the rest and then customize this to fit your needs. I think this can be very useful. Just make one for hacking, make one for being toxic, just make a general one for breaking all sorts of rules and then we'll just make the life of you and your moderators a lot easier. And then guys, that's gonna be it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're trying to hit the 30k subscribers now, which will be the next big milestone here on the channel. So do for sure click subscribe. Also, don't forget to join the Discord if you want to have some fun chats. It will be amazing to see you there. And then I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>